Right, now that we'll slide down the banister. How do we oop no? Wee Yup Hello Manny Hola I just had a run in with Domino and Mechi. We're leaving town. What? What? How? Domino's got Mechi. We're going after them tonight. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Okay. <laughs> What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. <laughs> I like it. Very classy. You know, when we leave, I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club, we got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty track once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've gotta find Mitchie and help her. Because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Cool, well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. I mean, he looks pretty classy in that suit. I remember animating Manny sliding down the banister, uh, and I remember uh, Tim kept calling for something. He's got to look cool. And so I did that, and I don't think he was ever really happy with it. So I don't know. I got, apparently don't know what cool means. <laughs> <laughs> got to put some Ray Bans on him. Uh, yeah, I mean he's Manny's a suave guy, but um, I don't know if suave guys slide down banisters. Maybe I should have done it slower. <laughs> yes, I better take this with me for safekeeping. So if you didn't see that, it's a gold liquor. Uh, sorry, it's a drink with gold flecks in it, metal. If you can figure out where I'm supposed to use that. Manny's music, the Casino Calavera music, is uh, that was a big moment for me doing the score because it was done fairly early on, and it kind of uh, it, it determined a lot of other stuff, just sort of stylistically. Mm -hmm. Get that sort of Gene Krupa thing going on in the beginning. And <laughs> Gene Krupa. Yeah, one of the great drummers of all time. Never heard of him. <laughs> That's just me. Everything okay down here? I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it a night, so... I always wanted to have a really international flair. I guess because um, Casablanca was very international. But also I love the game Last Express, the Jordan Messner game. Last Express, you're on a train. And there's a lot of listening to conversations uh, that are not presented at full volume because you're eavesdropping, you're walking down the hallway and you hear someone talking in a room, but they'll often be very quiet, but also sometimes in another language, like French or German or something. Mm -hmm. And just the idea of like overhearing a quietly spoken French conversation was so neat in that game that you tried to have people talking in other languages and hear like that. Mm -hmm. The croupier in the, um, in the gambling room speaking French. Hmm. No more bets, please. Hmm. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Right. Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat trick for printing fake betting stuffs. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. Chilla Charlie. Chow. Oh yes. That name comes from an actual person I know who was from Chowchilla, which no one remembers anymore. But when I was a kid, an entire school bus full of children was kidnapped in the town of Chowchilla. Do you remember that? No. California. Wow. A school bus full of kids was kidnapped, and the and the people demanded ransom. And it was crazy to think about. It was on the news. It was. It was Jeez. Chowchilla. Everyone was talking about this um, kid, and eventually the they were found and rescued, and, no, and I don't believe they were hurt. Mm -hmm. So I can talk about that story now. Yeah. And all the kids went home. But, um, and then years later, I just, um, a friend of ours was dating this guy named Charlie, and he was from Chowchilla, and I was like, oh, wow, were you on the bus? He was like, no, I was sick that day. I was sick. <laughs> I didn't go to school that day, and I didn't get kidnapped. 
Wow. And we always referred to him as Chowchilla Charlie. Okay. Wow. And he's now in the game as Chowchilla Charlie, even though his personality is not as sleazy as this character. He's a fine, outstanding, although very lucky guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. This is our Peter Lorre character. How did you print fake betting stubs with this? Uh -huh. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. <laughs> hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. Oh, Manny. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing, anything. Hmm, can you make reasonable? Yeah, can you make reasonable union we need a union card. Manny, are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? <laughs> can you do it or not? Hmm. Ahoy! I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Hmm. Okay then. So that's our ticket into the club. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please. See what this guy's gonna say. Some people say you should Mesdames always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, bet mm. is closed. Let's see if we can turn this lock, lock off, shall we? We need it to be over here, you see. Le numéro gagnant, le 29, noir, entre repas, 29, black, house pays all winners, le banque paye. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. <laughs> the car below. Le numéro gagnant. Le neuf. Rouge. Empire Monk. Nine. Red. This is an outrage. I bet on number two. Why didn't it come up number two? Ah, monsieur, mm -hmm. je suis vraiment désolé. I do not pick the winners. These things are all controlled by the man upstairs. Well, please tell the man upstairs that Police Chief Bogan was very upset when he left. And when he returns later this evening, he would prefer to have better luck. Oui, monsieur. Bonsoir. I will definitely tell him. Madame et Monsieur, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. See if he's got anything to say. Hi, Manny. Hi, Manny. I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Ooh. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me... Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, dear. <laughs> They need to work on this. It needs changing. Well, not fit, not changing. It needs fixing. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, do, do, do. Bum, bum. 
be do be do da da. Um, now down is. Let's go do the sea bees first, shall we? I think it was this way. Woo! Love that sound. Bom bom bim bi dangle. Oh, I can't go to the lighthouse. Okay, so let's uh, turn open a. Let's give these guys some motivation. Power to the people! I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Ah. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working? Yes. Workers? Yes. <laughs> I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here. That does it. <laughs> you know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Mm -hmm. Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Mm. Daddy, get me a lawyer. Get me a lawyer. Logan, that's going to make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Hmm. Yes, Nick. Well, sort of. Okay. Do, 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 do. Um, we can't really do much of the tattoo thing. What's this way? This gate only leads up to the Lombarda dock, and the Lombarda's gone. I've got the lumps to prove it. <laughs> Sorry, monsieur, but here's my pass, no, young Claude. Right now shut those doors heels. and drive. Oui, monsieur. But actually, my name is Raoul. 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 Hello, Raoul. What have we got in here? Oh, God, I forgot about this puzzle. There's a puzzle later on which is going to be horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Unless they fixed it. Oh, well, okay. That'll come in handy for sucking up the booze. Looks like a turkey baster. Don't get any ideas. Busy as ever, I see. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do. Who needs a giant 24 karat gold cat? Ah, who needs a cat, period? <laughs> Is that cat actually modeled, or is that a painting? No, that's a, that's a modeled cat. That's a... the lighting is so soft. It's. Mm -hmm. I think I might have even. Oh, please, please. Did I do that? Did I model that cat? I might have modeled that cat. It's a cool looking cat. Just oh, the lighting. Thank you. He's one sexy cat. <laughs> well, I remember speaking of VO. I know. I remember you casting this, and then I remember you vanishing. 
and you were gone for so long recording was, this yeah i was down and actually actually it was the only one time we rented an apartment rather than stand at a yeah. hotel because i i was down in la recording uh this for six weeks and then i was bookended on either side with two weeks for two lucas learning projects yeah and so it was it was uh yeah you just moved away <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> it was a long time Nick Virago, what are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't sell drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. I already got rid of that. Well, I can do the same to you, Calavera. Aha! A key. So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. <laughs> well, I remember speaking to... Yeah, just checking and that was the same thing. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. A friend of mine's in the slammer. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? Oh, an excellent lawyer. An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer. The very best is good the very enough for best me. Is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? <sighs> you are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. <laughs> so sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. Yeah. How's Trittner? Who do you like in the fourth race? Well, there's a white-footed tabby in gate two that's looking strong, but has a slight eye infection. But you think he's going to pull out of it and win anyway, right? No. That puss-eyed puss is going to lose, but nobody knows, and I am going to make a mint. I have to tell this to someone. I hate cats. Me too, but they keep the lights on around here. <laughs> Everything all legal with the kitties? Yes, they keep themselves pretty clean. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full, so what are you going to do? Mm. I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, mm. especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you're gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. He's a nice guy, isn't he? Hmm. Man, this is gonna get me in trouble. Nah. Ah, I'm running on the spot. And he's just disappeared. Alright. So we're going to do two things here. One is get the key, the other is the metal detector. All of which will become very clear. When did you put in a floor safe? That's our new contained detonation chamber in case someone tries to come through here with a bomb. Since when does Rubicaba have a terrorism problem? This town's changing, Manny. It's getting tougher every day. you come by the club anymore well to tell you the truth manny it's your little coat check girl all that bubbly energy i just want to strangle her i've tried that it doesn't stop her so is it time <laughs> for your break yet i told you not till dawn kind of romantic though don't you think because if you try let's find it nope nope it's virago's cigarette case 
There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. Because he doesn't know how to open it, so... What's that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? No. No, there was a shifty looking guy with crazy eyes who put it there. Oh my god. Give me that! It's a bomb! It's a bomb! That's what I said. Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. Nice to work, Carla. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. A key? I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, it's probably the key to some terrorist hideout. <laughs> Right. Back again. Now. Well, maybe just a sip. Down the hatch. Ah. <sighs> If you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. <laughs> I love the fact it's actually real. You sure you're well. not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Hey now. Ooh. Rules are rules. And of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. <laughs> I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Really? Yeah, all the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. You don't say. Well, I'm sure you don't. 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 Poor Grandma Hedwig. She was See? always forgetting Hedwig, things. that's an interesting name. I remember one time back when I was six. Or maybe I was seven. Ah, six. The golden year. No, 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 no. I had to be six because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Now there was Mr. a good Rufus? dog. Mr. Rufus? He was such a sweet I little puppy. I remember I had a dog once. We didn't care that he was deaf. <laughs> he was as deaf as they come, but he'd still try to bark. And it would come out sounding like a cat. Coughing up a hairball, which our cat often I did. He I had, had such long once. hair. I don't really <laughs> like long-haired cats, do you, Manny? Ick. They're just so. I like short-haired cats. They seem less stuck up. People think I'm stuck up sometimes. Believe it or not. No, no, no. They really do. No, I, I just don't know can't why. believe that. I guess it's because I'm so shy. I was shy all the way through high school. Yes. Seem shy. I never went to a single dance. Can you believe it? No. I was in detention. Don't get me wrong. The boys would ask, but I just run away. My mom said. I'm avoiding that. It's going to be. If I just smile once in a while, she always said a smile is the most important part of any outfit. Well, maybe I would have smiled more, mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Was I supposed to smile when the cops called us in the middle of the night to tell us to come get you out? Out of the drunk tank. Maybe if I had I, smiled uh, more, Daddy wouldn't have left us. <laughs> We'd be together right I now. Really have you, to go. me, Daddy, and Grandma Hedwig, and Mr. Rufus, and I'd be wearing my homecoming green crown I need to call and my bookie. eating figs <laughs> and 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 I'd oh mother. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Here, let me hold that metal detector for you while you cry. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? <laughs> yes. Yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If 
this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Calamar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. <laughs> There's no place like home.